Hey folks, in this video we are getting on the road to deliver and install a custom live streaming system to a church in Maryland, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So we have a custom live streaming system that we got here. And this one is, I don't know if you remember the build video that I did for this. Did I do a build video for this? I can't remember. But <laughs> this is the same typical system that we normally do, but instead we have a Ryzen 5 3400G for some more horsepower, and we have a Decklink Intensity Pro 4K, which is similar to what I have in my live streaming system that just happens to be right there. But again, we're doing this for the purpose of, um, they have an older, older camera but they want to be able to move to HD down the road and the Intensity Pro 4K allows you to actually connect SD cameras and up convert them but then also do um, HD and up to 4K. This is similar to a system that I built for my mom's church about a year and a half ago to where they had a similar type of setup where they had a current SD camera and I think they've since upgraded to a 4K camera. But anyway, it has all the bells and whistles and with the 3400G, it has a lot more power because they just wanted to invest in that because it was like a $50 difference in price to go from the 3200G at time to the 3400G. So we're going from what, four cores? four cores and four threads to four cores and eight threads. So a lot more power. This is similar to what I have in my mini ASRock A300 streaming system, which honestly I have not used in quite a while. But anyway, it is 6 a.m. I meant to be on the road by now, but I had a bunch of stuff I had to take because I got camera <laughs> equipment and everything. But let's get on the road and I will introduce you to the folks, the good folks up there and take my traditional picture when I'm in front of the church to add to my collection <laughs> of all the churches that we're helping. So anyway, let's get on the road. Hey folks, we are here and I'm here super early. So I'm gonna get some drone footage. It's kind of windy, so maybe I'll be able to catch something. I don't know, but we're gonna fly the drone here for a little bit and I'm gonna take a little nap for about an hour because I'm here an hour early. And then we're gonna get, um, once everybody gets here, we're gonna set the system up configure it with their church, test it out, and, you know, meet some new people as well. And then we're going to be catching up with um, one of my Patreon supporters, who happens to be about like 20 minutes away from here, and then we'll see what else we get into. So let's cut over to some drone footage. folks so we're we're here and I was I was just telling I was just telling Mark I was like I didn't say where I was going because I didn't want to pronounce the name of the church wrong so it's make sure I got it right Soteria all right that's we're Soteria Christian Center we're here this is one of the systems that we built with the um, Intensity Pro 4K so that it can use um, older SD cameras but it also prepares for the future that can go all the way up to 4K so we got Mark here, also an awesome patron um, that's supporting us here um, and really appreciate that. So, and this was nothing but about an hour and a half drive to come up here. And as you can see, it ain't nobody up here except for us. So, <laughs> yep, we are COVID compliant. So I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna hook this up to what we got. And then after the fact, show you how everything works. And then we're just gonna talk through that whole process. So let's go. Around and I turn on the strobe lights 
plug the lights in, let the computers boot up. I'll get back to this point. So first thing I need to do is launch this. Uh -huh. We'll have it an India scan converter. And you should notice because it just it just shows it's already up because it just has the tab right there. Okay. Like on mine, it does a little icon at the top um, near the clock. But as long as you only got to launch it once and it's it's pretty um, quick to load up. Okay, so it is it yep. is up. Okay, then I come over here and I launch OBS. Uh -huh. And then it will save the last place. So see, it was it, we didn't touch anything and it automatically saved the settings. Okay. As long as you don't open this and try and change it, right? And that's on, it will just show up. Okay. All right. So so now that's is in the uh and that's the scene. Okay. So that so that's just for Apple. So you really wouldn't touch this. You would just pick the scene that you're on. Okay. I have this as once you click on this, it just shows up. You could switch to studio and at least you have prep. So if you hit studio mode, this is what's live right now. And right. then you can pick whatever over Preview. here. Yep. Okay. And it's whichever one you choose. So um so we can edit this mm -hmm. slide. Yeah, you just got to double click on church name or cash app. And then you can edit that, oh. type whatever you want. And that's a placeholder, or you can just add anything else you want to. Um, if you click and that- And then we can duplicate this, because like, uh, this is cash app, then we do uh, uh, text to give. And... All right, so we got everything installed here. And I'm, I'm going to put him on camera here because I, I just want you to be honest. This is not to put him on blast, but this is a show that this isn't one of those things that it's like, up. Oh, I'm straight. We can get this thing going. This is for all of us is a, a process of learning. Yeah, this, this is very true. Take a look around. This is all this is all the stuff that we use to get it going at first. And now, yeah, once we have the uh, new computer installed, the new program OBS, um, trying to convert over from a, a old scripted program to worship extreme um, and trying to integrate how we do the search flow here at Soteria. It's uh, it's a much different, uh, yeah, it, it, it just doesn't happen by just putting a new computer in and say go, yeah, so I'm learning a whole lot of stuff. My brain is like, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's all worth it. And yes, it is, uh, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be awesome once we get everything in place. Yeah, so again, y'all don't don't get discouraged oh. when you're realizing that like, oh, you, you see some of the stuff at my church or you see stuff at other churches and you just think it's like like that. You know, it's for Mark, it's been a while to get to this place. At my church, it's it's been over an eight year process. But the thing is, it's always the constant moving of getting better because what we have, like we this camera that they were using, they were using RCA out and didn't even know that they can actually do HDMI out. So their their image got upgraded just by changing the cable. So you, it's always a growth process of where we can learn and we be better. So it's not just necessarily buying new hardware. The workflow needs to change. The understanding of it needs to change. And this is one thing that you just don't get overnight because they're not gonna be streaming with this on Sunday. No. They're learning the process. Right to make the whole experience better just for their ministry as well as for everybody else who's online, people that they're never gonna meet. So that's what this whole process is for. So thank you, Soteria Christian Center. Thank you so much for allowing me to come up here and help y'all. Um, really appreciate that. And hopefully the stuff that we got here will be able to, you will be able to minister and touch and impact so many more uh, the people with what y'all got going on here. I met the pastor have him on here, talk to him, and um, bedded a little bit of um, video on here, asking them some questions as well. And they understand that this is not just something that's going away. This is a tool. Yes, we don't want to forsake the gathering of others. We want to get back and fellowship and worship with each other. But at the same time, this is kind of where we got pushed to. And it's a good thing because we're able to not just minister to the people who are members at this church or this branch of Zion or the community or the city or the state. We can impact people all over the world. And that's what this is about. So Amen. thank y'all so much for, um, again, for me being here. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And we want to thank 
one of the patrons as well as all the other patrons That's who it. help support this channel their names are on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month where you help us train media ministries all over the world thanks for watching folks this is aj and mark and i will see you on the next video later <laughs>